walking in love and submission. To walk in God's will, we must practice mutual love and submission in all of our relationships. Here's Gene. If we're going to be walking in the Spirit, filled with the Spirit, living according to the Spirit, we're to submit to one another. And then, he says, wives, he goes into relationships. Wives, submit. By the way, that's not in the Greek text. He says, submit to one another, all of us. And then he says, wives, to your husbands. Now we repeat it in the English to get the continuity. Wives, submit to your own husbands, because that's the meaning, as to the Lord. But then he very quickly says, husbands, love your wives just as also Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. And by the way, one of the greatest passages of Scripture on mutual submission is found in Philippians chapter 2 where it says, Let this attitude be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who though He existed in the form of God, did not cling to that position, He laid it aside and became a servant and even went to the death on the cross. And here, Paul says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. That's the ultimate in submission. That's the ultimate in love. That's mutual submission. Regardless, he's saying, God has given you a position of authority, but with that authority, you are to serve. That is your position. Serve one another, regardless of, of your relationship, your position. He goes on. He sums up. To sum each one of you, sum up. Each one of you is to love his wife as himself. The wife is to respect her husband. But then he goes on to deal with parent-child relationships. He says, children, obey your parents and the Lord, because this is right. And then he says, particularly, fathers, don't stir up anger in your children. Yes, you have authority, but you're not to lord it over them and control them and make them angry, but you're to bring them up in the training and the instruction of the Lord. Now, Regardless of our position in the family, whether husbands, wives, parents, we're really to serve one another. There can be mutual submission even within parents to children without violating the authority that as God has given us. In fact, I've seen situations where parents have submitted on occasions and it changes the whole attitude of the child. And sometimes watching those things, sometimes the child has a reason as to why they're rebelling if you see the whole context of the situation, especially older children. So we need to think about that very carefully. And then he deals with another household situation. Slaves obey your human masters. See, slavery was part of their culture. And Paul didn't say, get rid of your slaves. It would have destroyed, in some respects, families. It would, have, it would have led to chaos. It would have led to murder. It would have led to all kinds of problems. What Paul just simply said was, Slaves, obey your human masters with fear and trembling. Another place he says, You obey the Lord, and the sincerity of your heart is to Christ. And then he says to masters, uh, Treat them the same way without threatening them, because you know that both your master in heaven, and there is no favoritism with him. And, and the fact of the matter is that we're to treat the slaves, he said, as Christ treats us. And that's an incredible picture of mutual reciprocal reality. Now what this did, and we mentioned this in our study of uh, Galatians, that with this approach, Paul literally destroyed slavery in the church because the two couldn't coexist. If you're going to love your slaves as, you, as brothers in Christ, then you're going to eliminate slavery. And that's exactly what ultimately happened within the church. Not within the Roman Empire, but within in their homes. So you have mutual submission that grows out of this walking worthy. So how does the principle of mutual submission relate to spiritual leaders in the church? Well, Peter has a beautiful passage on that. As fellow elder, witness of the sufferings of the Messiah, also a participant of the glory about to be revealed, I exhort the elders, the spiritual leaders among you, Shepherds God's flock, not overseeing out of compulsion, but freely, according to God's will, not for the money, eagerly, eagerly not lording, not controlling, dominating those entrusted you, but be examples to the flock. 
You see, there's one set of principles that run through all these relationships. Though God has established authority, the husband to the wife, he's to be a servant leader. The father, the family, but he's to be a servant leader along with the mother. And elders and their wives and anyone at that level, we are to be servant leaders. So you see this principle, how it applies all the way through in terms of, yes, there's authority, but there's also mutual submission in Jesus Christ.